the interior lanes will be tied to the roundabout so that if you're entering or exiting the roundabout, you find yourself in that, in that lane. It really works out well. Questions? I just was going to insert when Daryl was talking about the compromise. That is what I had included in your packet was all the correspondence and everything that um, had gone back and forth with TDOT uh, requesting uh, the trail and the and that uh, median uh, because we do have because of our access ordinance they were agreeable to that median which uh, the median as we've talked um, in the various training sessions that we've had in, with the pedestrian and bike plan is that median serves as a pedestrian refuge that you got some place to hang out in between after you halfway cross the road place to dive <laughs> yeah, exactly um, so and that was you know that's all bears out in that correspondence that I included in that and uh, that was really a joint effort with uh, Knox County folks and Farragut folks in the, uh, the state it Ruth, really Ruth do you compromise. want to mention the uh, North Shore Greenway and how that will tie? Yeah, in the packet I mentioned that Terry Shupp is the one who spearheaded this because she is the Knox County Greenways coordinator, and they are <coughs> going to do a greenway uh, along because all of that along North Shore is part of their park system, and they are going to do a greenway system, a greenway through there. In fact, they're going to be starting construction on a leg of it immediately to the west of, of the roundabout uh, very shortly. Um, but in essence, there'll be a greenway that goes through there. And what kind of triggered this is that she wanted to make sure that there could be an, an uh, under the railroad bridge so that you didn't have to cross on Campbell Station, I mean, on Concord Road, if I remember correctly. Is that how that went, Daryl? She's the one who kind of, who I know they're on the railroad together. right of way, but. Uh, yeah. Getting that approval from Norfolk Southern is uh, good luck. <laughs> no, I, it's my understanding they do have that, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good so thing. It's going to be a really neat system when everything is put together. So I mean, this is pretty exciting to see all to see the various different jurisdictions working together on this. I really like this, but I want to know how the median is going to be different than what we've been. Everybody was upset with the Grisby Chapel and all of that. How is it going to be different or look different or what you know is there what what is proposed with this is an 18 foot median this is the minimum width that TDOT okay. will build uh, so we have a four we have uh, it's 14 feet from paint line to paint line on Grigsby Chapel uh, what TDOT will put in they will have uh, the 18 foot median with curbs offset. Is that one feet or two? That's a two foot offset from the lane line. Uh, so there's actually 14 feet from face of curb to face of curb. That's a little bit wider than what we have on Grigsby Chapel Road. And they will just have six to one slopes uh, coming up. It'll just be built up on six to one would be up to us if we want to landscape it. TDOT will be okay with that. Yeah, yeah, between that with more similar to what's on Campbell, South Campbell Station Road, south of the Kroger entrance. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's a little wider out yeah, there. Yeah, because but, uh, it tapers because it allows for the light to get down to the little chubs. The flame chubs. <laughs> is, that, is that grassy area? I cannot remember. Is it grass through there now, the current? Yes. That's grassed, and, and this, upon completion, would be grassed. Also oak trees in there? Oak trees, nettle oaks, nettle. Who know. decides what goes in there? When the time comes. My understanding. I mean, I don't have any special requests. It's my understanding <laughs> that we can request to uh, uh, make the request to T. Dot to put in install landscaping. Uh, with that kind of width, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anything as elaborate as say a Parkside Drive. Uh, but that that comes with a very high maintenance cost anyway. Right, exactly. I have to yeah. throw that out. Yeah. 
Oh, sure. Uh, Probably but would be something similar to what we already have, actually. Which is just grass and a few trees. Yeah. Right. I was just curious. I have one more question about the finances. Um, this is far down the road. Are finances fairly well locked in that we do have this money from the feds coming? Yes, this, this funding has been approved. It, it is on the current TIP through the MPO. Uh, sorry to throw out so many letters there. Um, there's about $6.2 million that has been uh, set aside for this project. Uh, it's it's an 80-20 cost share between the locals and the federal money. Uh, and TDOT, since this is a state route, TDOT is picking up the 20% local match. So we're and free and clear. And within 18 months, it's gonna, <coughs> hopefully, it's going to start within about 18 months, did you say? No, uh, I would say that right-of-way acquisition will begin within another 18 months or so. Oh. That's going to take another 18 months. Three uh, years. So we're looking at about three years before construction could start on this. Well, let me ask you, uh, the sugar wood, the sidewalk, I was thinking that that was going to be before this, no? I mean, I mean yeah. We're working on that right now. Uh, actually, we're waiting on a contract from TDOT. It takes a while to get things through. I was afraid um, of of you writing a letter about the asphalt. Well, well, we <laughs> we we received a don't make waves. <laughs> a draft uh, contract from TDOT for the Kingston Pike Greenway in front of Willow Creek Golf Course, and uh, there were a number of things that we wanted that uh, were not included in that contract. So we made that request and sent it back, and uh, we haven't gotten a response yet. In the works too. So that's three years. Move to approve the plan for Concord Road as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed?